Okay, let's start. Okay, sir. Uh, working video. Okay, let's continue. We were discussing about how we give message, okay? Uh, talking about what are the antigen presenting cells? How the military recognize the message from the police? Do you have something, some, some clue that some enemy disturbing you? Yes, I have something in my hand. Okay. I have something in my hand. It's a T cell. It's my messenger. Antigen presenting cells. Okay. And yes, I have in my hand. Okay, let's show me. It's a receptor here. It's a receptor here. Okay. The shaking hand now. Now, antigen presenting cell gives something to T cell. So, what is antigen presenting cell? Macrophage, maybe B cell, maybe dendritic cell. Okay, let's we'll discuss about this. So, now you can see how we convey our message to acquired immunity. Clear? Then acquired immunity, ah, this message is now in headquarter. What was that headquarter? Lymph node. Now this message spread totally in headquarter. Alarm. Every day alarm or oh, something wrong in our body now. T cell. T cell give message to other T cell. T cell give message to other B cell. T cell give message to T cell. T cell give message to B cell. We must do something because there was something wrong there in body. Then T cell. T cell, there are two types of T cell. One CD4. One CD8. Okay. So now this cell is four category cell. CD4. Let me explain what is CD. CD4. So the CD4 receive this message. What is what was that? Oh, it is an antigen. Some particle of that bacteria of that virus which went disturbing our body. Okay. Some particles. Antigen give to T cell. Then T cell decide to take reaction. Okay. Now give response. Acquired immunity give response. The headquarter, you know, in headquarter we have within the military. Oh, we have been general, colonel there, lieutenant there, captain there. Yeah, many, many ranks there, brigadier there. So CD4 cell in headquarter, who is receiving message? CD4 cell. Then CD4 cell take their own decision. They give message to CD8 cell. They give message to B cell. Okay. They give message to B cell, give message to CD8 cell. You go, what they said to CD8 cell, you go and kill that bacteria or kill that virus, okay? How about the B cell? You go, you do what? Prepare some weapon. Oh, you prepare some weapon. You prepare some weapon. What weapon? Antibody A, antibody M, antibody G, antibody D, antibody E. You prepare some weapon. Clear? If the bacteria, then I am using this way. Give message to B cell you how to kill bacteria. I produce antibody to kill that bacteria. If the fungus and virus infection, they give message. You go and kill that virus and fungus. Okay? It's all summary of immunity. Understand or not? How our innate immunity give message to adaptive immunity for, for health. Okay, let's see some people already explain everything about adaptive immunity. Okay. Very specific. Recognize special antigen. Okay. The worst. Enhance by when again come. If again enemy enter your country, oh, military already know this enemy before, yeah? 
they give more stronger response and give more better defense so at each exposure if virus again and again enter your body your immunity become more and more and more good okay this is the reason you know one person living in very good condition fully developed furnished home and their child never exposed to dust never exposed they never see the soil or they never exposed to bacteria when they exposed they, they got very severe infection the poor child just living in sand always playing with the sand toys yeah and they exposed to lot of bacteria that's why they have more better immunity if the one person living in village another person living in very good well well developed city this is the reason it's exposure exposure make defense more better exposure make defense more better adaptive immunity become more and more stronger okay it's also having memory you need to memorize this property specificity okay diversity too much diversity having memory okay the self limiting automatically control okay when job is done enemy remove enemy dead then cd4 cell again give message to cd8 cell or b cell now or oh, should be calm or oh, everything message now give message please job is done now now rest no need to more killing clear it's like that is our immune system is working two component done cell mediated okay cell mediated in cell mediated we are using specially cd4 cell cell mediated in cell mediated we use cell for killing okay in cell mediated we use cell for killing but in case of antibody mediated we are using antibody how antibody produce we are using cd4 cell we are using cd4 cell cd4 cell give message to b cell b cell change to plasma cell plasma cell produce and like this is you can see cd4 cell give message to b cell b cell change its shape b cell b cell b cell change to plasma cell enter to blood and plasma cell produce antibody from the blood plasma cell disappear plasma cell produce antibody okay from b cell to plasma cell plasma cell produce antibody then antibody attack on bacteria this is our antibody immunity how antibody produce how antibody work how they become active this everything we learn in next section okay this is a general idea here in that immunity fail it's the antigen there yeah give message to antigen presenting cell antigen presenting cell give message to t cell which t cell give message to t cell in headquarter is a t cell there okay in headquarter the t cell it is t t cell which t cell cd4 cell then cd4 cell decide what to do it depend upon is the bacteria antigen it's a virus antigen it's a fungal antigen clear if bacteria antigen bacteria antigen b for bacteria b for b cell if bacteria antigen give message to b cell why we give give message to b cell to produce antibody understand if the virus or fungus or tumor cell then give message to cd8 cell okay give message to cd8 cell sorry not for cd8 cell then cd8 cell go and kill them it's a cell mediated part okay and this one is antibody part clear so when they give message cd4 cell they give message the very important thing is this one you see here memory cell what are the memory cell one cell divide and they make one copy okay that copy stay in that when the message in link node already okay message in link node already the t cell they start dividing they use for example one bacteria enter your body they they divide t cell divide one copy go for work and one they, they make two copies okay one t cell change to two one t cell change to two and the one cell 
for example is the cell here this cell change to a and b there are two daughter cell okay one cell go for fighting okay and one cell copy stay in lymph node as a memory as a memory when any time that same bacteria come no need to give signal okay they already we already have memory inside lymph node if bacterial antigen come again same bacteria come again we have memory cell against that bacteria understand clear or not this is the memory it's not a like a brain okay it's not a like a brain it's a memory here mean this, these cells they can recognize oh this person this enemy again and again enter your body this bacteria virus already been here okay so second time very strong response so when the b cell they produce antibody they also make memory cell t cell also make memory cell okay so how is this memory cell working let me see comparison done ah oh, this comparison done very specific not specific very specific diversity limited here too much diverse memory no they can't they just have one type of killing skill in their immunity acquired immunity much diversity there they can memorize again okay again and again come they can memorize again if you have one infection your immune system for example i give simple example for example you have hepatitis vaccination there yeah so if you vaccinated already so antibody in your body if any time that hepatitis virus enter your body no disease because you have antibody okay so it's a memory it's a memory what are the component anatomical component skin mucosa okay here anatomical component lymph nodes spleen all lymphatic tissue here skin and mucosa okay the cell component phagocytes macrophage neutrophil nature killer cell here we having what lymphocytes important clear this is innate and adaptive immunity innate and adaptive immunity so what is active and passive innate adaptive clear any problem till innate and adaptive no no uh, a difference done yeah okay so let's see what's mean active immunity what's mean passive immunity active passive what is active what is passive this is a question for you first you try to understand then you can understand what's the question here what's mean active immunity what is passive immunity active immunity antigen come okay enter your body yes give message to t cell okay t cell give message to b cell okay b cell produce antibody now response so what happen here antigen enter what is antigen bacteria virus fungus oh it is a very long way yeah it's a very long way to produce antibody it's mean antigen activate body defense system t cell then t cell activate b cell b cell produce antibody is a long way for activation this is my active immunity clear what's the active immunity antigen enter your body that antigen stimulate t cell t cell stimulate b cell b cell produce antibody then defense there this is the active immunity what is passive immunity passive immunity i gave you example what is passive immunity all vaccine dead vaccine i just give example okay dead vaccine not alive vaccine dead vaccine passive immunity or other thing if you give already pre formed antibody i inject some antibody against any bacteria against virus okay pre formed antibody antibody inject in body from outside body produce antibody no body not produce antibody we already give antibody from outside into into person blood okay so you give what you give pre formed you give pre formed antibody okay you inject some antibodies into the body clear or not for example you want to make a military first you go from matric then intermediate all level pass then training then then you become a like a soldier yeah clear or not 
if directly you hire one soldier and uh, only only for hire from other country and directly put in your army it's a passive way it's a passive way clear so it's a passive mean all the pre formed antibody enter your blood pre formed i inject some antibody against virus i inject some antibody against bacteria i inject some antibody against fungus so what is this immunity passive immunity now can you give answer for this question what is that immunity mother antibody entered to fetus for defense which antibody entered to fetus is igg what is that immunity active immunity or passive immunity active or passive mother antibody defense baby defense fetus okay give defense to fetus from the blood of mother listen carefully from the blood of mother antibody enter to blood of fetus okay so now they protect anti already pre formed soldier you put in the fetal blood pre formed soldier so what it was that passive passive Simply. passive sir it's a passive, passive way if the baby if the fetus antigen enter to fetus and fetus start producing t cell then b cell then anti it's a active immunity okay oh. fetus is not able to produce antibody because fetus is fetus dependent on mother even for nutrition even for defense mother give protection to fetus clear from all infection antibody from mother okay while breastfeed birth done okay still immune system till 6 month not matured later we discuss how my time take okay <coughs> not matured till 6 month 6 month necessary must breastfeed there why if mother not give breastfeed the baby can have lot of infection <coughs> because milk have ig ig again defensive so what was that immunity <coughs> passive or active while breastfeeding antibody enter to enter to baby oh milk in milk having antibody is a passive immunity or active immunity again passive understand what's the meaning of passive if you fight yourself this is the meaning of active okay if you depend upon outsider outside antibody is the passive immunity is the passive immunity i think it still uh, is okay is enough active and passive immunity a minute and acquired immunity okay uh, tomorrow we will inshallah discuss the other t cell b cell how they work how they active okay this ppt i already gave to alfina you can take from alfina Is enough for today. If I have any question, you guys can send me message in group.